St. Patrick's Athletic came into the tie with a real sense of optimism after last week's away draw in Belarus. And they threatened early on when a Mark Timlin flick almost released Christy Fagan. But Mint's keeper Ignatovic was alive to clear the danger. Last week's draw with Pats cost Vuk Razovic his job. Such was the disappointment with the result and they soon settled into their new regime with Alexander Noyak's 30-yard drive bringing Clark's first save of the match. The Pats keeper rescued them again shortly after acrobatically tipping over Alexander Seferchiski's header. But Pats' reprieve was to be short-lived. From the resulting corner, Kuroitoy's click on was neatly converted by Gleb Rasadkin to give Dynamo a 2-1 lead in aggregate. Pats have a strong home record in Inchicore, having lost just four of 16 European games, and they almost equalised when Billy Dennehy's shot flew just over. Dynamo's new manager, Sergei Borovsky, was the boss of Belarusian side Shakhtar Soligursk when they beat Derry City 6-1 on aggregate two years ago. Noyak's shot almost doubled their advantage, but for another spectacular save by Clark. Slick though they were going forward, Dynamo were far from composed at the back. Vladimir Korotko's attempted clearance hit in his own crossbar. This was Pat's first time playing against Belarusian opposition and they were grateful to Clark again for making his third top save of the half, denying Mohamed El Monir on this occasion. It was Darren Dennehy who scored a precious away goal in the last round against Jeunesse and the big defender almost came up with the goods from Keith Tracy's free. The winner of the tie was guaranteed another €220,000 and Luko Rotkovic had an opportunity to double Dynamo's lead but couldn't keep his effort down. The action heated up in the last 10 minutes when Pats became desperate for the crucial equaliser. Ignatovic fumbled Tracy's long distance drive with Fagan going in late to spark a melee in the Dynamo goal mount. Dynamo, who had a number of players in the Belarusian squad who recently played friendlies against the Republic in Northern Ireland, were clearly not happy. After tempers died down, Fagan and Severchinsky were booked for their involvement. Things were getting desperate for the Inchi Corsair's hopes for progression to the next round. This proved to be Pat's last notable opportunity and a night of frustration ended with a full-time score of St. Patrick's Athletic nil, Dynamo Minsk 1 with Minsk progressing 2-1 on aggregate.